India's successful G20 summit has drawn global acclaim with corporate India echoing the sentiment. Our Dinesh, president of CII, discussing how the G20 outcomes will benefit Indian companies and various sectors in an exclusive chat with BTTV's managing editor, Siddharth Sarabi. Listen in. What do you see as the most central part of the entire G20 summit with regard to India's economy and Indian industry, uh, the future and the put positive potential that is likely? Uh, thank you, Siddharth. Pleasure to be uh, there again with you. I think first and foremost, we have to congratulate the Honorable Prime Minister for actually getting this declaration done in a very comprehensive manner. I think the fact that this presents opportunity to industry in many different ways. First and foremost, the fact that we have talked about the issues which industry uh, or I would call it the MSMEs and the livelihood businesses which are part of industry have to face and the, as they go through the sustainability transition, the funding for their requirements, their ability to uh, be ready for the future and equally importantly, the digital transformation is something which I think is creating very good and interesting opportunities for uh, India and Indian industry. Equally important is, I think, making sure that we have the African Union as part of the G20 and that again makes a huge uh, continent available for our, as part of the global growth story of bringing together this. So I think in many different ways, I think there are uh, uh, new opportunities which have been opened up. And I, I don't want to talk about, I, I will talk a little bit later about the adjacencies to the G20 which has also taken place. Uh, there was a massive B20 summit also, uh, the attendance there uh, showcasing the interest that foreign investors and companies have towards India. The fact that India pulled off uh, not only from the diplomatic perspective in terms of the summit declaration, but so many other bilaterals with different countries, a very substantial follow-up bilateral between the uh, uh, United States President and uh, Indian Prime Minister Narendra Modi. Uh, what kind of message would it have sent to the larger foreign investor community? You know, bilaterals outside or along adjacent to the B20, uh, G20, I think they have been incredible. If I look at the India Middle East Europe corridor, mm -hmm. if I look at the opportunities which have been presented by the various strategic government-to-government uh, -government discussions with Saudi Arabia, with the US, with uh, various other countries, I think they are all opportunities which we from the industry side have to seize on and as they develop and as they mature, I think they will create uh, even more rub of benefit in terms of not just uh, companies who are benefiting from this but also the whole sector which is benefiting from this. And the last and the most important point is ability for India and Indian companies to become part of global value chains, which process has been speeded up by A, creation of the India brand, B, acceptance that India can be a trusted partner and will continue to be a trusted, Indian companies can be trusted partners for global value chains.